The residents of Lusaka's Matero East can sigh with relief following the progress made on the construction of caverns and drainages in the area. But despite their gratitude to government for the response to their call for drainages, some of the residents have expressed concerns over water which is collecting in the nearby places after heavy rains. We are so much uh, uh, like appreciated for, 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 for the work which is being done here, you know. But um, they have to, to, make, like, to do it like according to what is supposed to, to be done. We were told that they would just put garbage here, you see. But they uh, again, they, I, mean, I mean, like they change their mind that they they won't like um, put a drainage there, which would be like uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if it will work, you know. So they have they are, they are supposed at least to put culverts there and also to to make a drainage there so that all the water which will be coming from this side, and this side, and that side, at least it can be passing this, through this culvert. But the only problem I saw the day before yesterday after that heavy rain is that the pupils, the young ones, cannot cross after the water coming from this side, coming from the bridge where they have digged. So according to my proposal, I think maybe if they can make arrangement, they can discuss with these people, the owners of this house, they make a, a big drainage from here straight, then I think the problem of water can be small and children can be able to cross over this, from this, over this area because now this bridge is not yet finished. And area ward councillor Lim Cooper is equally happy with the works, adding that the project has seen many young people employed. The good part is that uh, the local uh, the people have been employed uh, about 250 years, even the women for those to cook and just to make sure that we buy uh, the, the locals. I thank the, the contractor that has employed them and also, you know, after this project, there are many with skills, so they can work anywhere they want them to, to work. Mr. Mkupa asked that the problem of houses being flooded will be a thing of the past once the drainage project is done. Principal, I don't like demolishing people's uh, properties, uh, but we don't encourage also the inheritance. No wonder this, uh, this time around we don't encourage people to, to allocate illegal plots. And uh, we make sure that we work along the, with the specific uh, place that will be given. Early this month, some residents in the area protested over their houses getting flooded after heavy downpour of rains, leaving their properties damaged and called on government to intervene. Pauline Ngozo, Movie TV News, Lusaka.